شوسا نوت يت Hello. Hello. Let me allow to screen share. Hello. 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 Yeah, let me allow to screen share. You cannot screen share. Yeah. Okay. 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 Wait. 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 Don't. Now it will allow you to share the screen. Just check. Uh, yeah. 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 Right. Okay. 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 Yeah. I think even now. Seeing my screen. Just go to the first screen. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 So now you can slide to the. You can slide. Yeah. To, yeah. Thank you. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So at the very outset, let me start. And before to start with the content, and uh, I am deeply extend my uh, deep regards on behalf of this webinar and this session to the uh, person those who are sad demise due to COVID-19, and because of COVID-19. we are all here for through webinar and you say the i am also uh, very keen to extend my deep gratitude to the doctors administration those who are doing every time fighting in front of us to covid control the covid so today's lecture i would like to dedicate to all of them thank you very much see actually uh, today i am just going to say something on re engineering knowledge resource center the current context particularly on academic perspectives meaning academic library context and uh, this khoitan library has organized a series of lecture and out of which i am very much appraised with the presentation of ramesh gaur ji and uh, dr sanjay kataria ji i don't know whether today they are here or not i am a great lover and follower of them because they are the actual re engineer of the uh, libraries in the current society so some of context matching with them and it's true that every time people who are speaking his speech always will be evolving and recycling with his own experience since my 21 years plus uh, library service experience so recycling with the academic library earlier i was in a college library now in the university library so my lecture will be uh, recycling and evolving with the academic library system particularly and at the very outside and uh, since we i am from dobinath tagore institute let me just read one quotation of gurudev tagore that i awake and sleep and it was joy i awake that life was service i acted and behold service was joy so in total life is basically evolving with service and joy service and joy so it's a basically joy service and life is the three core facet of any person now you see we are under covid 19 and we are saying that everything is under lockdown but i don't think and perhaps you all will be agree with me that not everything is not uh, i mean uh, shut down because the slide itself bit self explanatory due to time shortage i am not going to spell it out all you see sunrise sunset day night eating sleeping honesty kindness medical treatment law and order media then online teaching learning webinar paying meditation pranayam yoga social service creativity and many more it's already in living condition not in lockdown condition and you see status of the current society in the current society desire that resource or knowledge or information will be available at any to the power 6 It means any time anyone any had any information every person is meant to be available to all of the uh, library client dr sir dr sir uh, yeah ha huh, please please Hello. Doctor Sah. Doctor Sah. Balaji. Doctor Balaji. Please. Doctor Sah, you can mute your video because uh, uh, that so we will get your voice clearly. You please mute your video. Okay. You okay. got my point, Doctor Sah. Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I just mute my video. Yes, you mute your video, please. Thank you so much. Uh, hello, 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 hello. Hello, hello. 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 Hello, sir. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, and, uh, just uh, we are uh, deciding on the big bazaar and shopping mall society where people need to have single visit for multi item you see and be prepared like that fashion when a students when a client will come they need to have many more service from the library not that one thing for one service one thing for one visit like that so we have to make our library up to that content and you see since we are living in the uh, big budget society shopping mall society and other things on the other part we are having two parts of india signing india and sinking india information divide information imbalance digital divide like that and you see signing india is uh, evolving with this uh, gadgets and other things this is the uh, some pictorial presentation of signing india what we actually have and in contrary you see this is the sinking india higher child labor women empowerment this food crisis this shelter crisis this everything is going on so whenever we talking anything we are basically concentrate ourselves for signing india not for sinking india but if we want to ensure our national development city and development indian development we have to take care and extend our big hands with the such sinking india so that our actual development will be ensured and then you see we are under parallel shift of library into cyberdy or krc that is called knowledge resource center and how it is you see nothing new actually we have started our journey through users education users initiation users instruction guide orientation awareness training and finally we are reaching the digital literacy so if we go back to from digital literacy to our inception then we found that we have our ranganathan myths and philosophy and if we culture the ranganathan myths and philosophy we will found our subject through the technology nothing else on the other slide you see enquiry counter is to help this it was in the library and today by technology we are saying ask your library not effective like that and you see our journey from library outreach activities partnership library service library cooperation library collaboration interlibrary loan library resource sharing joint use library and finally we are thinking and first of all country has already this library as a third space step space and other things then what are the changes we have to undergo from print resource to electronic or digital resources Start physical users to virtual users. Limited library hours to unlimited service hours. That is round the clock. Start local level to global level users. Card catalog to OPAC. That is online public access catalog. More specifically, web OPAC. Photocopy to digital copy through email. Libraries collection to interlibrary loan resource sharing. Question syllabus bank to institutional repositories. Silence reading to discussion group or relaxed reading zone. Close access to open access. Library to knowledge resource center like that. And you see, what about the knowledge research centers in academic institute? You see, by academic institute, we want to mean school, college, library, university library, like that. And it's again uh, categorically by nature, government, government aided, and private. And that can be again categorized by medium, English, Bengali, Hindi, different board, West Bengal Board of Secondary Education, Central Board of Secondary Education, ICSC, and Bishwabharati. We have our different board. And higher education, different state, different university, different curricula, different pattern, and other things. See, so academic institute basically depends on the type, nature, physical location of the school, university. Again, library has great role to cater quality education. In reality, it is seen that the growth and advancement of development of academic institutes of private sector is much faster than government and government aided institute. The people, those who are having financial capacity, they intend to admit their words in the private sector right from the beginning that is nursery. Therefore, the Institute of University, like we are getting students comfortably poor family, first generation learners like that. The picture is that it's as good as private super facility hospital and a government hospital. Therefore, the gap is ever increasing in nature regarding imparting quality education among the government and private institute. Another important factor, as I told earlier, that rural urban imbalance. Now, from the earlier slides, this has been revealed that the academic institution lagging behind. Again, being part of this institute's library are also minimum equipped to meet the requirement in the digital environment. So, 
no scope even intra comparison among the homogeneous institute library if, and even urban areas regarding comparison among heterogeneous group it is quite simply dream like corporate library corporate library and super library and any other private institute library research library subject based specific library like that coming back to the rate of advancement of the academic library satisfactory and most of them have transformed from traditional library to hybrid library in some cases libraries are transforming from hybrid to even semi automatic library not the full automatic library the library professionals are willing and trying hard to develop one modern tech based library to sustain the identity but there are several lacks to transform the dream into reality now school library college library university library since school library is the academic entry gate of any education system though gateway of the ed education no library even if library there is no librarian and even if it is librarian and library the room and, and, and its infrastructure is quite not sufficient then college library integrate of the higher education in the quantity based education system library usage is very poor and the infrastructure relating to ict is insufficient number of staff only librarian but practically students at university is starting to use library when they do not have habit of library use so university library is comparatively is better in better condition but the basic thing is that when from schools mr. and college sir mr sir yeah. mr yeah. sir can you go a little bit slow because i am getting message from the audience it is too fast for them little bit slow okay. little bit slow okay. okay yeah okay 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 i am just for timing i am just going so fast don't worry don't worry Thank for you. the time we will take less questions but uh, okay. people should understand the contents and your all your efforts should reach to the audience that's my intention thank nice. you okay now see the importing education from nursery to phd let us take the example of vishwabharati as a case study so we are imparting education from nursery to phd basic slogan is kg to phd pg within the university campus many private residences are there which is very exceptional throughout india and global in any education campus there is no single entry exit incomplete fencing and insecure subject coverage language literature indian and foreign social science science agricultural science performing arts fine arts rural reconstruction and many more courses ranging from certificate diploma ug 6 semester and 8 semester pg mphil phd bsc and dlit etc etc intake faculty 500 50 plus staff 800 plus students 11000 plus and scholars 3000 plus and also we are having adopted dlis 38 which was the basic legacy of gurudev chagor to make the development of the village and rural reconstruction unless otherwise take the rural reconstruction rural development india or any country or any nation cannot develop at all so right from the beginning 1901 we are having 38 village under our uh, adoption and we are taking an important regular education and library services for that 38 villages then is history and uniqueness basically the institute has started its journey named brahmacharya vidyalay library or brahmacharya vidyalay in 1901 then 1921 vishwabharati college library then 1951 central university that is central university library and 1971 we are shifting our new or present building sets and there are many more uniqueness see this is the uh, kind of twist basically by these things we want to mean our vishwabharati library network setup if you go through the color coding this maroon color or if say coffee color this all are having college or institute or ug level library then this pb and ss means part of bhavan and school this is shikha sapto to schools library and we are having two special library one is rabindra bhavan library where we have on and by chagor collection and one more latest that is called bangladesh bhavan library which has been installed and instituted and constructed by bangladesh government for escalating research on bangladesh on bangabandhu mujibur rahman by sitting in west bengal so this is another and on the other hand like departmental library or seminar library we are having 30 departmental seminar library and you see this psb library it is associated with 30 village 34 village library too so in together vishwabharati library network is connected and we are catering service to the villagers to the school students from a special library from ug library and at the apex we are having central library so this is a kind of very uh, i mean versatile set of library and catering the users 
and this is a, a kind of our infrastructure basic infrastructure its area seating capacity binding and other things then you see we are having this is our resource, uh, resource showcase uh, we are having more than uh, 8.53 lakh print books ebooks uh, ebooks subscribe then digitized books journal subscribe daily newspaper 24 like many university and many university might have uh, more than our collection but this is our collection then you see like uh, any other university we are having several database access facilities sometimes it is a bibliographic database sometimes it is abstract database sometimes it is full text database and uh, we are having some of this resource sharing with uh, consortia based uh, like isot sindhu then south ganga south gangotri and others we are having interlibrary relationship and uh, you know institutional membership with american library del net british council library bla yasdik ila and other things now let me just switch over how to linear and what we are just propagate to popularize the library or to encourage our students or to encourage our library clientele to come and to use more and more library resources whether by coming in physical or by accessing through virtual so it's basically to the engineer of library is required to establish the relevancy of the library in the academic activities and thereby ensuring quality education and development of the nation more specifically it is an activities to update the library to cope with the frequent change, changing of the society re-engineer does not only mean to civil construction work rather this re-engineer may be of many folks and innovative practices are the core concern of the same then you see what are the innovation and what are the uh, i mean re-engineering activities or uh, initiatives we have been taken from the Vishwabharati. That is, you see, by sitting in the traditional library, we are propagating user-friendly library. How it is? Students and scholars, they are taking active part for book selection and book recommendation. Of course, they need to send their requisition through HOD and their PhD supervisor so that library will not be a collection of mess. Because we are always concentrated on our resource collection and quality collection, which will be rooted through the HOD, but basically requisition will be raised by the student itself. Because many a times we found that the teacher selecting the books, which may not be come to the student's need. So that's why a person of our allocation, we segregate and separate it from our collection from the teachers. So that amount and this practice we are maintaining throughout the year and necessary form have been uploaded, uploaded in our university website. Then we are having one popular service called Scan Yourself. After passing HS or after passing graduation, whenever students need to apply any other Indian university and abroad, they need to go through online form filler. And in our rural belt, we have practiced that there are many cyber cafe and students are in the queue from the dawn. And they are paying 200 rupees, 400 rupees for getting form filler and other things. So we are having one corner during form fill up an online session, scan yourself and get form fill up on online. If required, we assist them. Then scholarship alert service, one of the most popular service, including direct assistance to form fill up to get uh, students for any kind of scholarship, like Rajiv Gandhi, Lanka scholarship, Indira Gandhi national scholarship for single girl child. So since we are nurturing with the rural belt and first generation learner, this kind of little bit scholarship facilities will help them a lot and every fortnight in our website we are categorizing national scholarship and foreign scholarship so that our students and scholars will get their future life through this assistance of scholarship then confine confinement of annual based users award every year we are giving one award to uh, uh, scholars and the students and this is nothing. This is why monetary and by any other things, it can, cannot be measured. Basically, whenever we organize this event, many scholars and students and teachers are presented. And indirectly, this will insist them that, OK, if we use our library, and if I come to the library and maintaining rules and regulation, and not having receiving overdue notice through my mail, then I may win this kind of award. And we are giving one certificate of achievement. Then identification of library friends. Many a times we found that there are many noise created by the students and they are coming to me and to my junior officers for lodging complaint to address the issues. Let's say in the reading room, sometimes a student's mobile ringtone, some sort of Hindi songs and others and many, many, many things, music, musical ringtone sings loudly and other students may feel disturbed and this will create calm 
cumbersome situation and may come complain to me. Then our earlier librarian, Dr. B.K. Thomas, who was the basically backbone of remnant of this library, he immediately augmented this idea of the identification of library friends. And with that friends, we are having their WhatsApp group, their mail, and we are having a notice that they are the library friends. If any problem with the reading room and reference section and journal section, please be help with them and inform with them. They are the right person who will come to me to address the issue. Then earn while learn or student assistance scheme. Sometimes four months in a year, two hours in a day, four hours, four days in a week, we are offering this scheme and paying a token amount to the students for their appreciation. And at the end of the apprentice, we offer them on certificate. And from our experience, we found that the students from English, geography, Bengali, and many other subjects, including social work, they are after completing their master degree in mother subject, they switch over to library and getting library job in different colleges and universities by qualifying net. So this is a kind of another activities. Then building addition of library website on NetBase, which is being done by my library colleagues, no other technical persons, and we are not outsourcing and paying any uh, corporate agency for uh, uh, building our website, addition our website like that. This is completely done by my colleagues. Then users and librarian with library staff face-to-face -face meeting. Every quarter, we are organized this kind of meeting to understand the common students' needs and problems, what they want to say. If from my staff part, they have any sorts of problem, then in one left-hand side, my staffs are there, and right-hand side, my users are there, and officers, including me, in front. It is a kind of nice meeting and nice exchange of views. In that way, we are just addressing the temporary needs, very petty needs, which may, uh, I mean, uh, if we not address in proper ways, these ways, then this may create some sort of vandalism in the library. So offer scope to students or take active part in any event of the library, like anchoring, performing, reciting some song, instrumental, and uh, sometimes audio drama like that. Let's say uh, just a few months back, three months back, we are having one program with the National Institute of Hearing Handicap. So my hearing and visually challenged students, they are 25, they come in the stage, they anchoring, they moderating the event, they performing the opening song and many things. And they told after the events as their own views before the audience, including guests, that this is the first time when we are getting a stage to perform because people and society thought that we are disabled, we are backbencher, we are not able to perform anything. So we had shown to our library and we had shown to our library team that they are offering this kind of things. And in this way, we just catered that library is a cultural center, library is a community center, library is a facilitating center, librarian is the coordinator, nothing else. So in this way, we are inculcating reading habits, we are inculcating library usage habits. Then application of QR code of library, every resources, services, and facilities, and that has been hung up in our library website. Developing image of the library to get any unspent fund at the end of the year, university may allocate me, and sometimes if university intend to organize any program, like 150 years birth anniversary of Mahatma Gandhi ji, 200 years of Isha Chandra Vidyasagar, they emphatically allocate the program to Dr. Saha, you please arrange this program. So that is the branding image of the library. And in this way, my library is catering service and sustain its entity throughout the academic community. Then identification of library friends, as I told, then joint use library, Anyone from anywhere are entitled to use the library with no fee, that is called free of cost. From global to local level, any users may come to my library and they use sitting and reading and downloading facility, not for lending facility. Then library service to Vishwabharati pensioners. Whenever any uh, staff, teachers, officers retired from Vishwabharati, we are having a special membership for them and they are having membership and like today, I am having membership of senior member whose age is 95. And we are catering book to his doorstep, inculcating mobile library service in traditional concept. And then awareness program on safe drive, safe life, and on any contemporary issue to uh, inculcate the contemporary issues and to restore the ideas and awareness program of the students and societies. Then organization of the debate, extempore competition on contemporary issues 
on any particular day, like World Book Day, this 25th, 3rd April, as we are under lockdown, we have not organized. The Sikha Bhavan Library Institute of uh, Science Library, they have taken this kind of region role to organize this debate and expected competition. Then they cannot to highlight the special day. In my reference section, every month we are having five, six important days, as you know, like World Environment Day, World uh, Women's Day, Teacher's Day, uh, then uh, any other day, 15th August, then 2nd uh, October. So that particular day, what we do is that from net we are taking some sort of importance of that day on the biography of the particular person. Then we showcase our library collection, print books and journals, if any in the library, that will be showcased in a place. So students and scholars will come at the very beginning of the entry in the library to see there is what is the importance of that. And many times I found that they are taking a mobile snap of the notice board, whatever we have displayed about the biography and importance of the day. And if they need to say something on his locality or her locality or on the department, they may say that things from the copy paste uh, experience. Then scholars assistance program, every quarterly, quarterly we are organizing this research methodology workshop, remote access and discovery services, plagiarism issues and checking, literature research and review, research output, technical writings, reference management software, that is Jotero, Mendeley, EndNote, open access resources, resource retrieval, then research tools and techniques, consortium, database, citation and impact factor, and many more things we, uh, is to be uh, take a part of that. And we are having a syllabi on that. Many departments is make it a part of their syllabus. And we library people is being taught regularly by taking the PhD coursework class. Then institutional repositories, like any other university, we are having no exception. That is question paper, syllabus, publication of the faculty, scholars, staff, that is available in internet, of course. Reading facility everywhere, stack. Whenever students take entry in the stack, since we are having open access, so there we are having chair and table. If they found anything to consult at a time, two, three books, they may take a read, they may take a note, they may take a two, three page snapshot in their mobile and they may go away. Then thesis section, then current journals, then reference in an above reading room. Because in reading room, we are having some textbook collection, some career oriented book collection. So that is there. It means that students need not carry books from here to there to read. Everywhere where they found a book or any documents to read, they may read. Then readers friendly bay guide. Subject guide, frequent use title guide. Let's say economics development. It's a core paper of the economic students. So economics development, we are having a list of the titles along with its class number, then the big guide. So when a students come, Nimaida, can I have a book on economics development? I trigger him to that notice board and that big guide board. They may go there and they may found that call number and they may found the big guide and they may retrieve the books within a second. Then we are having green library culture. Within the library, we are having so many uh, in, uh, implant crops, and also we are having some sort of green library culture, like noise making. And during hot summer, we are only using AC, not a lot, but only time test. And we are having a notification whenever any officers, whenever students in the reading room, they are not having much numbers. So please put up light and fan and AC to save energy to save environment like that. In this way, we are inculcating green library culture. And then arrangement of frequently used books in a separate place. See, as our central library are having more than 4.6 lakh books, we are having a separate arrangement of frequent usually used books. Whenever students come, they may first see that frequent use stack, then they may go to the main stack. Then we are having mobile apps, that is name of LSAT, which is integrated with the Lipsys software because we are using Lipsys and the corporation is kind enough to give this LSAT mobile apps on our requirement and by these things our students are getting searching on them. Then single window searching through Lipsys from campus and discovery service from remote location. What do you notice? Through mail. No fine library services. By maintaining through the Tegot's legacy we are having till the date if a student do not submit a book in due course we are warning them, but not impose any fines so far. Then organization of book exhibition or book fair. See, it's a kind of interesting program, annual book exhibition and book fair. Since we are away from Calcutta, 150, 50 kilometers, the students of the rural belt, they are not having to acquaint with them in the new book market. So whenever we get allocation of money 
for purchasing books, we are organizing the book exhibition, inviting 24, 34, around 30 uh, publishers and booksellers throughout India. And that's a great event of the library. That's a great event of the locality, not even in the campus. People shall come even outside it, and that's a lovely, encouraging. And by this way, we are sustaining our identity that, yes, library can do something for the betterment of the society. Then social welfare activities, our library, that is PSB library, that is Institute of Agriculture Library, organized blood donation camp. When there is a scarcity of blood donation, they have organized a blood donation camp with uh, collaboration with the NSS unit of the university. This kind of things we are organizing to inculcate our existence. Then enhancement of reading room hour during exam fever. Whenever students are under exam study leave, we are enhancing our reading room hour to address the students' need to sit and read within a congenial environment inside the library. Then we are having monthly library in e-newsletter, which is basically our interface of the library publicity or marketing or awareness material. And every month we are publishing these things, incorporating our recent activities. And also every month, our first page and first main content considered, sometimes it is Urkun, plagiarism software, sometimes remote access, sometimes web, access, web of science, sometimes uh, endless, sometimes Ishod Sindhu, sometimes Shod Ganga Tri, Shod Ganga, and many more things. Then books at doorstep, traditionally mobile library for the university guests and VIPs. You know, many university, we are having practice that for any examination or any conference teachers and uh, academics may come to the university guest house. So they may need some books for their last minute reading. So they need not come to the library on our system, we may reach the books to our a guest house to our vice chancellor's residence to our registrar's residence because they are highly busy throughout the day so we are uh, actually uh, reaching books to their doorstep maintaining the mobile library so this is a kind of very popular service in the campus then for the pwd students people with visible uh, persons with disabilities so we are having braille library unit separate with uh, adequate infrastructure then ramp wheelchair specially designed toilet for the pwd and library as a shelter to them. Whenever disabled students found any problem, they are feel free to come to the library to share their problem. And my library staff, including me, to take a address an active step to address their problem for what they can. Let's say sometimes they may need to write and submit assignment in hard copy. And they come with me with a books that Nimai sir, I want to have a reader who will read these things, then it will be a kind of things because you know this uh, software is not compatible for uh, conversion into MP3 regional language. I mean, Odia, Bengali, this may not be uh, transferred in the MP4, MP3 mode. So we are then find out some students as volunteer, then the students will read, then one student will found who will read on the basis of the dictation of that Braille students. Then organize assistance and awareness program with different institutes and associations to facilitate them by contributing some, contributing some sorts of hearing tools and uh, uh, hearing tools and hearing tests. Then visualization students some tools and techniques they may hire from there and some institute this uh, National Institute of uh, Hearing Handicap National Institute of Orthopedic Handicap they are kind enough sometimes they may make a camp here and they may give a token two three items free to our students. Then for library professionals, definitely they are the backbone of the library to run. That's why we are saying anything anywhere. So for them, we are organizing seminars, workshop, training programs, special lecture session by inviting distinguished visitors, refreshment program, then others like deposition to orientation program, refresher program, MLIC program, MPhil and PhD too. And frequent meeting and personal interaction to know the problems if any in individual, individual level, if any it is section level, if it is any library as a whole level. So we are having frequent meeting section wise, library as a whole and our network team as a whole. We are having meeting frequently to address our emergent issues. Then to bridge the gap, it's a kind of holistic idea from the library we have inculcating that reunion among the retired and present library staff to know the past, tuned with the present to work for future. Retired professionals are feeling depressed mentally to come and interact with the current young library professionals. And it has a great impetus in the teamwork. Tree plantation, felicitation, 
book exhibition, speech, refreshment at the agenda of the reunion. Because you know, after the retirement, many of the library colleagues, they're sitting and confined in the library and they are uh, just on, depend on the medicine. But in a day of the year, if they come before us and if they share what was the history of the library, how it was looked alike, and how you have made it. So this is a kind of bridging the gap in between the past and present, and this will help us to customize our future works of the library. And you see, uh, in the year 2017, 9th July, the then president, Honorable Sri Pranam Mukhopadhyay, in uh, association with our Honorable uh, HRD Minister, the then Prakash Javlikarji, they have uh, opened 14 agenda. So on that agenda, we are inculcating in our campus and arranging special session to propagate among the academic communities. Then we are having resource uh, access facilities. There are many, you see, discovery service, remote access, web park, library website, library user, as I told, this is a many things. Then current awareness service fortnightly keep you abreast of the latest publications in our field. And also it will be surprising to know that in the newspaper, whenever we found that any news come on and Vishnu Bharati, that is, of course, positive news. So we are digitized that portion of the news and make it upload in our library website to make a archive. And sometimes any students of social science may have some sort of you know, dissertation or PhD. We are having journalism ASCOM department. For them, it's a kind of very handy tool to conduct their assignment to conduct the dissertation. The newspaper clipping service, new arrival alert, every fortnight we are just 20 books or 30 books, scan out the cover page and title page, and then content page, and hang out in the library website so that students and academics come to know what new books entered in the library, maybe from purchase, maybe from git, and they may come to the list of content, they may identify what books is to what quantum is fulfill our need. Then this is scholarship database, as I told, the article delivery service on request, which was earlier known as document delivery service, we are to uh, popularize the service, naming it article delivery service, then article indexing service. Then we are having feedback system, online and periodical survey, and also polling. And also hard copy in the office, any students may come to the library and they may uh, submit their feedback to the library. And we are having at the entry gate in the library, a medical token medicine box, some sort of, you know, uh, sorbitrate tablet and antacid and, you know, stimetil, and uh, some sorts of pain player, it is there, and uh, you know some ointment uh, and other things. If anything uh, injury is will come, we will take a address instantly. Then we are having hospital, and we will go, uh, uh, refer them to hospital and carry them to hospital for proper treatment. And of course, open access efforts to popularize open access culture, not only by digital uh, culture, but our traditional culture. Our library is open access, right from TV students to our pensioners. Everyone is welcome to come in the library stack and to find out their loving books. Then we are having photocopying, printing, and binding service from the library, definitely on paying. This is an outsourcing service. Then we are having a mini museum, Tagore's display. And we are having interlevel loan service, then e resource browsing search download facilities, Braille unit, textbook reading, and career corner. Then we are having a nice conference hall where we are having. And this kind of program and also university administrative meetings is being organized in the library so that every time we are found many people coming and going in the library and by that meeting attendance they may use the library that is things then we are having discussion corner instead of having only silence reading zone right today's we are having discussion corner then you see house in order and new service we are having outreach and different awareness creation material like website poster brochure reference manual users manual e-newsletter, bookmarks, QR code of most of the library services and activities. Then you see uniqueness, we are, uh, as I told, then let me summarize what are the unique features. These are the unique features. Uh, I may not repeat it all. And then you see, this is the library inner side when uh, library card and sometimes when last is being coming, students are very, uh, you know, in congenial queue and the staffs are uh, release them one by one. And you see, this is our reading room, and this is our cafeteria, which we have built up. And this proposed area, we are uh, pipeline to develop our reading zone. Probably this will be first time in India. This is a under sky. You may found from the picture that that's above. It is the blue sky, and 
within surroundings it is the building so students may not go up from the library with the books they may come and we want to we are going to yeah so uh, some open reading zone then we are having a plan that it, it will be a garden and wifi zone and we will have a big screen where we will uh, uh, telecast any you know some sort of elect uh, cricket world cup then football world cup olympic cup then election results and other things so that at the end of the academic curricula students and academics may feel yes library is a community center where we can go and to have sit together with a cup of tea and we can share our national news and message and extend our academic views and there will be a sweet sound system on tagore songs and music and also we are thinking this in this open reading zone we will organize several uh, cultural program like birthday celebration of the students because you know students when they celebrate their birthday in any restaurant they may do some sort of miss culture and when they organize these things inside the library after closing of the library we may enhance one hour or one and a half hours for the next hour so in that way we are just going to uh, emphasize going to establish the library as a community center library as a cultural center library as a societal center and lots but not the least library as a safe space of the community and this is the first page of the last month of our newsletter you see last yes, month yes. our agenda no, was due and you see this is our library brochure and this is the library users manual front page and this is available in the hard copy in the library reference section and also soft copy is being available in the library uh, home page then uh, this is our uh, future plan how we will revamp our library revamping of central and sectional libraries preservation and conservation unit we need to uh, introduce then we need to have digitization unit for 30000 more uh, rare books what, what we have segregated then introduction of library science education then we need to have language laboratory we need we need to have new modern modular furniture along with cctv extension auto fire alarm system electronic security management system like that then extension of computers and wifi facility additional space dormitory for less use books central ac of course rfid then restarting of cafeteria and open air reading zone then this is the snapshot of the bisuharuti then in the our in our landing page of the university third last item is the library and then from there you can have this library and you see this is the inauguration of our book fair honorable vice chancellor and honorable former librarian of the national library calcutta simati kalpana das gupta and myself this is inaugural ceremony and this is our tribal outsourcing staff who have taken keen part to inaugural uh, dancing and performing their uh, uh, tribal culture and welcome vice chancellor and dignitaries inside the library with the uh, you know the, the the zone of the tent and this is our user friendly library home page every time if i put up my mouse pointer here then it will be give me the drop down menu what are the things you see this is the another school we are having book exhibition inside the school this is you see the school students in the patobona library and you see about library library rules library committee enlisted vendors former university librarian e resource usage guideline usage internet e resources site map then if we go to service what are the service that is here any students click here and go the particular service zone then what are the resource we are having that is there then you say this is another book fair exhibition our former vice chancellor was a sapandatto inaugurating the uh, inauguration ceremony then you see this is our best users award conformance ceremony where we are having with the teachers and others then you see important links under important links we are giving several links so that students and faculty members get ready made link and within a minimum time they may take inside then this is the announcement whenever we organize any program that announcement is here and there is the archive of the announcement the back information they may go there then you see photo gallery throughout the year we are organizing several program like last year's so 2018 we are organizing yaslik national seminar in the bisuvardhi this is the uh, grand success program and this is you know more than 250 participants this is the picture so photo gallery is meant for 
recollect our memory what program we have organized there and you see uh, this is our book gift by the bangladesh government they are here to give some books for the library and we are accepting their books and our pro tem vice chancellor madam and pro tem registrar madam is there and we are having several forms 26 forms to use the library so all the forms are uploaded here so students may like students uh, book registration form application form for duplicate card and any other things then you know faq it is here contact is here and this is our qr code for service and other things and uh, mobile apps qr code scanning it is here then this is a kind of you see full house library orientation programs and i am standing and catering the uh, students to instruction about the library resources and services and students are sitting then as a social interface of the visoradi library in covid 19 my staff have been contributed one day salary and also personal contribution we are giving 200 more than 200 people for some of food items for the, the needy people as a kind of crisis period to overcome and activities during lockdown we have facilitated e resource accessibility procured e resource open access resources resource e resource then publishers open access resources remote access and discovery services article of like text delivery services through mail and whatsapp open source software for reference management this to check level of significance of the plagiarism by sitting in the house then through urkun then aware about learning management system platform like zoom discovex aws canvas google class then coursera and you know there are many more eg class and moodle platform jitsi jitsi meet like that so this is the uh, link of the open access resources we are giving the name of the item and this is the ready made link where it is so much of need and ready made to the students and we have been uploaded in the library website and sent through mail and whatsapp then this is a library can extend support in many ways in this way we are uh, extend our support no, definitely like all other institute all other library we are not free from challenges and problems but i am being a, a library professional don't confine myself on negative and problems because i always think that if there is a problem there is a solution so we may not confine we may not distress we may not uh, i mean frustrate or uh, challenges or problems you see uh, like rural wealth we are having techno positiveness of the audience level of required competency among the stakeholders speed of the network and bandwidth very poor of the campus scarcity in e resource on regional languages language barrier of the users of the particularly students then fund it's a big problem that's why i am uh, putting it in the capital data it's a capital problem of any institute like today to run and procure the resources that is fund so academics are not getting enough time to cope with the sudden lockdown period to equip themselves and to chase this kind of lockdown period then let me just going to conclude that we are requiring oya network telecommunication network technological network but before that we need to have our mental network teachers parents students government egc society not teaching non teaching officers this kind of mental network and connection is the prerequisite to offer and delegate proper library services otherwise any university any library any education system may not sustain even if it is sustained that may not be quality to the up to the mark and always we favors we always welcome a book lovers maybe print maybe electronic we are always here to find out a book lovers users and at the last let me conclude and share that if any question if any other things i am so hurried because 10 minutes late i have started so uh, you see i found several message and call from prolaji that i have been rushed to complete by the time now it is just 1 pm and uh, i have planned out to go by 1 hour but i have just finished my lecture 50 to 52 minutes and sorry for late and let's open it for uh, any suggestion question interaction thank you very much audience thank you so much to our dr sha it was a very thank wonderful you, presentation not only presentation we we got many type of services which we can implement it which we can start in our library in the corporate but in academic and uh, i'm i'm very much sure the audience are eager to ask you some more questions so i would request each and everyone if they want any
क्वेश्चन दे वॉन्ट टू रेज एनी क्वेश्चन प्लीज रेज योर हैंड वन बाय वन प्लीज रेज योर हैंड वन बाय वन वी विल टेक क्वेश्चन ओनली बाय रेजिंग हैंड डोंट अनम्यूट युअर सेल्फ अनलेस आई एंड वी म्यूट यू If you have any question, please raise your hand. Please raise your hand. So, Doctor Sir, it was very, uh, you know, very, very unique presentation we hear from you. I am really thankful to you. I had uh, not a question. I had uh, just a simple. Uh, uh, I just want some clarification from you. Uh, you mentioned about the thirty thousand rare books. Thirty thousand rare books. It is a very huge collection. So, what type of uh, rare books you have? What type See, of rare books you have? Yeah. we are having rare books particularly on regional languages those books which are in first edition particularly on non by tagore and you say some books which have been gifted by some other peoples whose signature and some books we are having where tagore himself put out a note that this is this this is that that is that that is his handwriting is there in inside the book so that is a precious material precious resource to the civilization that we are having with us and that have been digitized and more 30000 books which have been copyright free which have been a uh, subject specialist identified that these books will be rare uh, in nature so in that way more 30000 books yet to be digitized and 30000 books have already been digitized okay okay so another uh, not a question again another uh, clarification i want from your side many of the time this academic friends academic colleagues those who are working in the academic library they are facing the problem to get the rare book so is it possible for you when you are you going to digitize can you share with the public so they can copy the copy and they can keep it at their uh, library also if it possible please let me know on that yeah see actually for a rare book we have some uh, policy any reader if they want to have uh, 10 pages 20 pages because we are the partner of the indian lithographic rights organization license author uh, customer okay so by that things we are not uh, Uh, authorized to give 100% copy if it is copyright then no issue but some subject expert they, if they dedicated that books as subject as a uh, rare but that is not copyright free we are not able to give that things and the books which have been copyrighted free that will be accessible through ndli very soon but all the books is available and browsable inside the campus and whenever any outsiders came on our permission a chapter a portion which he or she need we are uh, allowing to give them and the outsiders those who may not come to the library physically like you if they send a mail request to us after uh, viewing the books then we give them the copy to them but not the uh, molar to molar all the pages like that but a portion and if it is copyright free 100% will send you through pdf okay that's a really uh, uh, you know a very clear uh, clear cut answer you had given so the first question Supriya Malik, Kamlesh, please unmute Supriya Malik. Kamlesh, please unmute Supriya Malik. Kamlesh, please unmute Supriya Malik. Kamlesh, okay. Hello. The second question is from. Uh, yeah. Biswajit Das. Biswajit Das, you can raise your question. You are on the mic now. Hello. Yes, yes, yes. Biswajit Das, please. Yes, uh, Biswajit Das. Hi, Mr. I, Dr. Biswajit Das from uh, Kolkata. Dr. Sir, yes. I, I have a questions. Uh, there are different types of databases. Uh, Sir, yes, bibliographical details databases, idea databases. These are not e-books databases, but um, you have any uh, library discovery systems? Hello. Huh, hello. Mr. Sah, did you got the question from Mr. Vishwanath Das? Hello. Hello. Mr. Sa, are you there? Yes. Hello. Mr. Dr. Das had asked a question to you. Had you heard that? Yeah. 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 I listen to his question and let me give an answer. Hello. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Das, can you repeat the answer? Yeah. 
No, I have already listened his question. Okay. No issue. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. The, through EBSCO operations, we are having discovery services along with remote access. So through their cloud server, we are having all digital, all books, electronic books and online resources, whatever may be the nature of the database, it is uploaded there. So anyone can browse that database through our login ID password, which I am catering to them, they may browse it by sitting in their uh, home and in the library and in the campus. Okay. Sir, uh, I said my uh, library discovery systems. There are different types of databases, um, uh, library bibliographical databases, idea mm. databases, user right. and ebooks databases. There are different right. types of databases. So right. when a user came to the library and right. he browsing or searching the uh, their particular information. No, 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 no. They are searching one single database. I got your <laughs> question now. So that is ah. that is Lipsys. That is Lipsys. We are having integration of the Lipsys, all the data, article indexing, journal article, ah. anything, any books, online books, any digitized books, print books. There is a single window. OPAC is there. If anyone searching, let's say higher education, it will automatically display you on higher education. What are the journal articles is available? On higher education, what are the title of the books is available? On uh, uh, higher education, what are the ebooks is available? Digitized books is available, and there is that different icon on the title and on the basis of that, like if it is E, then it is uh, automatically e-books. If it is a kind of PDF symbol, then that is a digitized books converted in the PDF or image set. So in that way, it is a kind of single discovery window search, but I have showed my uh, PowerPoint presentation that if it is a campus search, then that is Lipsy single window search. If it is off campus search, I mean the somewhere else remote location, that is discovery search. Okay. So next question from Majumdar. Hello, Mr. Apurba Jyoti Majumdar. Yes, yes. Yeah, Apurba, welcome. Uh, uh, good morning, madam. My question is, uh, you have talked about uh, discussion room in the library, whether uh, right. the students can come and discuss our problem, whether this room right. is inside the library or any separate corner, because it's, I think, because that particular room should be soundproof, actually. Because uh, yeah. they keep on discussing, because whenever students discuss, even whenever we discuss about DDC, there are lots of issues, lots of sounds, and that other users may get disturbed. So, how do you maintain that actually? Yeah, uh, nice question, Apurva. Thank you for your uh, uh, questioning. Let me say we are having a separate room. Okay, so that separate room, when a teachers will come to discuss with their only two, three, four, five, six scholars. We open that room. Otherwise, we are having a zone that is open, but that is uh, not the reader's zone. They may sit there, four to eight students may sit together and they may discuss. That sound will not come there, but uh, we are uh, just one, uh, in pipeline to construct one separate soundproof room where students will get to sit together for that confined room. But right today, since we have to itemize the rooms, we may not sit when we will get the model infrastructure, but within the infrastructure, we have to propagate the idea. That is our jill. Okay. Actually, we are also planning some, we have some rooms in this basement. Yeah. Uh, so we are also planning this as teachers can, students can come together, at least some uh, in, in, uh, in departmental classroom, departmental seminars, and uh, other discussion they can help. Because that, in my case, this is the basement that won't hamper others because the other users are in the top floor. So right. thank you, Nimaida, for your guidance. I will definitely try to implement thank it. You, thank you, Mr. Majumdar. Thank you, Mr. Majumdar. So the next question is from Kumar. Hello. Yeah, yeah, welcome, please. Yeah, uh, me uh, from Lakhimpur, Assam. Uh, I'm yes. working in KB, Kendri Vitali, not Lakhimpur. So okay. uh, you are talking about the academic library, but right. I want uh, from your experience and ideas and how can I make very important role and play a very uh, good role in the school library. So can you give any ideas or suggestions right. for, from your experience? Right. 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 See, you can have uh, two, three steps if it is, you know, uh, if you are having some sort of crisis on infrastructure regarding technology, I mean computer network like that. Let me talk about in traditional environment. Let's say you are having some sort of books. Okay. And that books may be uh, very old. So you may organize yes. one competition of book binding, book covering. Yes. Then the books will be, which one will be nice? You just two, one, two, three, give a pen of 10 rupees like that, any, any. 
I am not uh, saying that much money you have to invest, but a token appreciation on any day, 26 January, 23rd January, or any festive of the school, or any cultural function of the school, you just put up that three students in the stage and give a kind of appreciation and announce their names and give a token of appreciation applied that these three students is having some sort of paintings in the art paper and they have just covered the books with their uh, names. So it will be when they found that books is in the uh, showcase, then they will be allowed to read and come to the library. That is one thing. Another thing you can do, when students are in leisure hour, right today you uh, will be agreed with me that you can have a reading competition. Just a reading competition, louding reading competition, maybe English, maybe Assamese, maybe Bengali, whatever it is, just one page common uh, note you can give to them. They may read and you just listen along with few teachers, then make a competition and rank them and you just give them a kind of appreciation. That is another thing. Then if you are having some sort of uh, uh, one computer with network facilities, there are ample scope of online resources like O labs, online laboratories then NCERT, then our ICAC, then our Bengal government, maybe Assam government, their textbooks all are uploaded there. And there are many video classes. One of the important class is, uh, uh, that is Khan Academy. Okay, Bangladesh guy, he has developed Khan Academy, mm -hmm. one online tutor video class. There you can have every class, every tuition, uh, every video mode for teachers, for parents and for students. There are three different modules, you can have it and go there and there are many books you please contact through mail to me i will give you lots of urls through which you can inculcate and uh, satisfy your uh, serious students for their education okay thank you okay sir. thank you thank you very much. okay the next question is from I'm not wrong maral madam Hello. Yes, please raise your question. Yeah, yeah. Yes, please raise your question. Am I audible, sir? Am I audible? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, sir, uh, my question is, uh, yeah. sir, you say in your presentation that yeah. you use the various types of services uh, by using the QR codes in your library. Okay. Right, right, uh, right. So can you please explain me the actually which type of services uh, you will be given through the QR code? Yeah. See, madam, actually, QR code basically let's say library users manual how to use the library or we every, every institute have some sort of library rules and regulations that may have 10 pages five pages like that okay. so they may not carry the hard copy of the rules they may not carry and uh, junk the soft copy in the pen drive or uh, laptop like that in that case they may have the scan copy of the qr code and once they download it they will found the soft copy of the pdf of library rules or some sort of services or reference manual or journal department manual or thesis consulting uh, manual, whatever it is. So they may get on ratio, contact list of the library. They may get through that. We are having 14 QR codes and a single single F4 page, they can have all the things in a single locket. Okay. Okay, okay. And one more question is there, sir. Uh, so you say uh, that uh, you are not charged any fine from your students. Okay, no, no. so no. my question is, uh, what type of problems you are facing regarding the book return policy? Because uh, you are not charging anything from the students. So there is a possibility of uh, books is not returned to the library. Uh, so what type of a tech, uh, what type of care, care is taken by you? Uh, and uh, what type of problems you are facing in this regard? Okay, see, actually, uh, as I told very shortly that time, Gurudev Tagore was not believing the imposing of any rules because his proverb was, we are not meant for rules, rules is meant for us. So through our orientation program and interaction, we want to understand our students. Please return your books by 30 days. Even if you want to retain the books, you please come to the library to renew it. We will make it renew unless the book is reserved by someone. And if you want to re, uh, even not renew the books, if you come with your fellow friends, you return and ask your friends to uh, withdraw the books or uh, you know issue the books. You can rotate and you can keep books yourself and help others to rotate the books because if you are not returning the books in a month, 
we are not having multi copy for 30 students 30 copy we don't have so if you rotate the books in a semester that books will be used by six candidate and if you are holding that books you will get one one copy for six months and if you are giving six books rotate then you will get 36 books from the library so by the things they are doing and sometimes we need to call them they are coming and rightly i am agreed with you some problems are there but that is very meager in number 5% or 10% but for 5% and 10% i do not think that 90% i will impose fine but this problem is very meager in nature very meager thank you sir thank you thank you thank yeah. you sir thank so you. next question from shankar roy malik yes yeah this uh, my colleague from this world shankar da please yes. ha uh, nimaida i have one it is not a question it is a query uh, what will be the role of a library in general uh, after yeah. this post uh, corona period how the library will work because now these are uh, the social distancing and all these things is that this word is coming up right now so how the yeah. library will function just this is a query only it is <laughs> yeah yeah thank you uh, uh, shankar babu for your nice question and let me just introduce this uh, shankar babu he is one of the noted faculty of our silpo sadana and he is taking every care for the library for his students and scholars and whenever we found any information to the him he will disseminate it to within a second to his students and he is very much concerned on the library services and covid and other things that's why it is his uh, uh, i mean instant question since he is loving a library so let me just address you shankar da see uh, i am already thinking that i will display one notice that students need to come in the library by wearing mask first thing and at the outside we are having to erect one tap point for washing hands with sanitizer okay and we will make uh, we will play a drop box students will come and read the accessor number one stop from distance read the accessor number and return the books and books will be in the drop box after 48 hours or 72 hours we will only after sanitizer sanitization of the books we will touch the books otherwise we will not touch the books and at a time in the library stack we will allow five to six students and asking them to maintain social distance and in the reading room i have four students may sit right now we allow only one students to read sit and read and we insist them please send and contact with us through mail for e resource service we are here to serve you you may not come to the library at least up to september as, as advised by the government on doctors and soon after the situation will be at this you all are, will be come uh, to the library by their own but for some time definitely they will be in pending situation and i too as you know to interact yes. with the students is the life blood to me thank yes. you thank thank you actually this is uh, this is uh, this is also applicable for vishwabharati and also for all other library yes right. yes yes right. very much true yes uh, very uh, uh, thank you nimaida for giving this uh, and this is an uh, idea for all for all yes. the library not yes. only for the vishwabharati yes. it's a very good idea Thank you, Malik sir. Thank you, Malik. Yeah, good question. Uh, be asking the next question, uh, uh, Mr. Doctor Sir. I would request you in your presentation you had mentioned PW persons with disability, right? Right, right. I would request you. Can you please change that word from PWD to the special user? If it, this is my request to you. Definitely, definitely, I will. But as far as government guideline is there, they are using PWD. Yeah. That's why. in compliance with the government guideline we are now this, this is my personal request okay yeah yeah, yeah. definitely, definitely. The next question is from geeta rani madam sir good afternoon sir can you yeah, explain the green library culture yeah actually green library culture oh, some noise is coming hello am i audible madam am yes, i audible yes. yeah, yeah. actually green library culture nowadays is a big concept and big thing and a challenge to us to implement but as i told earlier that i am not confined within the problem and a model environment whenever any item come into the society we try to inculcate that in the library see if you come to my library you may found at least more than 50 to 60 in indoor plant tops and that has been everyday nurture and within the library campus i am having a sky and there are many green trees are there this is a natural uh, beauty of the campus and beauty of the library one thing then second thing is that whenever any students 
come to take a print on that of any particular notice or any book copy and other things our photocopy center and our library staff ask them why are you going to print why are you uh, going to 10 pages print if it is at uh, eight pages why are you going to 10 pages like that we are also confined them to uh, save the paper resource too and students staffs are noticed that whenever you found this zone is not any man you just put off the electric switch you just put off the electric fan switch and ac so that it will save the energy it will save money for the institute as a whole and nation in token so in this way we are having that kind of things and in the toilet you will be surprising to know that we are having special service for the girl students in their toilet in every sanitizer every items for them they that is a, that is the posted in the in their toilet so they are very uh, feel congenial when they found any problem they may not rush to the hostel they may not rush to the uh, you know the department or house they may come to the library because my library is a shelter to my academic community not only to the students rather to staff and officers so this is a little bit we have started with but what actually green library is concerned in literary that is we are ahead to be reached okay okay thank you sir yeah uh, professor sohel vishas is there i think sir scv sir or uh, professor lakshman rao sir uh, i guess he is not there okay okay then uh, any other so, no questions are there so oh, it was a fabulous meeting with you it was a fabulous discussion with you sir not uh, it will not only help you the academic library but there are some special library there are some school library and even we are in the corporate library we will also accommodate some of the services which you had mentioned and definitely uh, i'm really pleased with your presentations and with your content uh, and many of the participants yeah. many of the pandit ji pandit ji prabhat pandit ji is here pandit ji uh, no Prabhat no. pandit ji no okay okay, oh, okay. no 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 okay thank you some of the participant from the participant they had requested your presentation so i just want to yeah. check uh, with you whether you are going to ch share the presentation with the organizer or not yeah definitely i'll okay. send it but so if you share with me i will share with the others drop me a message my number i will share with you if dr sai is sharing with me okay See, actually so, i am giving yeah. i am ready to give this is nothing mine i am a bilavar of open access resource i have just uh, here and there collect and customize my presentation i will give it to organizer as well as if any participants would like to get it from me personally please send your mail id i will send it to you from the chat box okay no issue Not so nice mind. of you sir so nice of you so nice of you sir and uh, i am very happy to inform you that we are still 85 it means we are in the uh, we are reaching one and a, one and a half hour and we are still 85 and I'm, I'm talking of number of participants so it was wonderful and uh, you know uh, the knowledgeable talk you have had today and i must thanks from the audience part i must thanks from the organizer part and uh, really it will be a good association with you in future also thank you so much thank you so much okay okay apology so, on one, inform one, one, all of you yeah hello? yes yes apology Yes. Sir. Yes. Uh, how can I get the uh, chat chat box item? Thank you, sir. Yeah, welcome, welcome. Uh, how, I I will share with you. I I will I will share with you. Okay. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Don't worry, sir. Don't worry yeah. for that. Thank you. Okay. So okay. I will. Thank you, sir. I will inform now. The meeting is concluded. The meeting is concluded now. Except KCU, LS professional, all okay. others get the meeting. Thank you, sir. Recording. Please stop recording. Yeah, that's what